All right, guys, got some sad news. We've had a death in the family. My lawnmower, my trusty lawnmower has died on me. Um, actually, I'm not that disappointed. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty inexpensive lawnmower. I guess we've had it, what, babe, about five years? Yeah, I'll say about five years. And you know, it's a traditional gas-powered lawnmower. I, got, I didn't get the lowest of the low-end models, but this is about as low-end as you can get. <laughs> and you know, with gas-powered lawnmowers, um, they just require some maintenance. You gotta do stuff like buy air filters, I bought an air filter, I got spark plugs and tuned it up, but it's still not working properly. It's cutting off quite a bit. So I think what I would need to do is, I know in this model, the carburetor is not the most high quality carburetor. So there's a way you can take this engine apart and clean out the carburetor. Or Where's I, the engine at? I didn't even know lawnmowers had engines. So this is the engine. This is the, this is the motor, air filter, carburetors up under here. Okay. So this is basically, it's almost, it's really no different. Think of this as like a simple version of like an automobile engine, except instead of turning wheels, it's turning the blade. All right. I could fix it, but I'd have to take it apart and it would probably take me all day. Um, I found a company that would do the maintenance for me and fix it, fix the carburetor, clean it, take it apart. But honestly, what they ch would charge would cost about as much as I paid for this lawnmower. All right, guys, so this is my new toy. I went out and bought a new lawnmower. I was really about to get a gas lawnmower but honestly, the reviews on all the inexpensive gas lawnmowers weren't that great. Basically, to get a good gas lawnmower, I'd have to spend like 500 bucks. So this isn't gas? No, this is a cordless lawnmower. So this uses a battery. And you know, a lot of people use cordless lawn tools, cordless drills where you pop in the battery. This is pretty new. This is a cordless lawnmower, right? Now, electric lawnmower have been out for years, but usually you have a power cord mm -hmm. where you gotta literally plug it in and drag the cord around. Mm -hmm. This uses a battery. We're gonna look at the battery in a minute. So this is the Ryobi 40 volt lithium. I got this from Home Depot. Okay. Now I did read a lot of reviews. I did my research. This got pretty good reviews. I won't say every review is great, but if I compared it to the reviews that the gas lawnmowers got, it, it was just as good. Was and it I, really expensive? It was, it was a little bit more than an entry level gas lawnmower, but it wasn't super expensive. Like there are lawnmowers that are definitely cost a lot more than this. I paid about 300 bucks for this uh, from Home Depot. They also sell it at Lowe's. Ryobi seem to be one of the you know, main brands and Ryobi, I know I ha I've had some of their power tools. They make really good power tools and yard tools. So let's do an unboxing and take a look. All right guys, so this is the lawnmower. A couple of things about it. Let's talk about the differences between this and a traditional gas lawnmower. Obviously you see this compartment here. It kind of looks like a cockpit. Actually, this whole thing looks like a big toy, which I think is pretty fun, but this is where the battery goes. So this lawnmower uses a huge, heavy battery. This thing weighs about probably five pounds. So this is a big, heavy, rechargeable battery. So it comes to re with the recharging station and the battery. So the battery, basically you take it, slide it into the slot right there. It's got basically an ignition key, which is this plastic key. Once you stick it in there, Put the battery in you can store an extra battery here and you close it and i'll start it up in just a minute but that's basically and this you just plug in in your garage yep so this is the charger charge port so just plug this in in your garage stick your battery in here and that charges your battery um it actually came in the box like this i didn't have to assemble anything all i had to do was flip this handle over wow really lightweight this mm -hmm. weighs maybe 50 pounds to me it looks like <laughs> almost like a remote control car it looks like a talker truck or a yeah. remote control car it looks like mm -hmm. a big old toy very lightweight um, so you don't have to get a self-propelled mower. I know when you get like a traditional heavy duty lawnmower, a lot of times they're really heavy. So you have to spend the extra money to get the self-propelled. Mm -hmm. But because these are so lightweight, you really don't need that. It's really easy to push this. So, you know, if you're someone that doesn't want to be pushing a big heavy mower, you're cutting the grass yourself and you're not, you know, the biggest, strongest person in the world, uh, this is a great choice. A couple of things to point out. Um, it does have headlights. Honestly, I don't know why you would be cutting grass in the dark where Some you need people headlights. people like to cut the grass when it's nice and cool <laughs> or in the winter months. Oh. Um, <laughs> the deck is about 20 inches, so it's got about a 20, which is a pretty good size. Um, this is where you adjust the height. You can mm -hmm. see I've got mine just about all the way up. It goes up to three and three-fourths inches high. Um, and pro tip, if you want your grass to be really green, you want to cut it often, but cut it high. Um, you don't want to cut it too low, especially in the summer. Um, let's go ahead and remove the battery so you can see we've got the 40 volt lithium ion here. I could store an extra battery here and quickly swap it out. I believe uh, one battery charge will cut about an acre. So we live kind of in the city, so we have kind of a typical city sized yard. Um, we're well under an acre. You know, this isn't something obviously I would recommend, you know, if you're living out and you have a large lot, if you're out in the country, 
for a landscaping service, something like that. But if you have kind of a small quarter acre kind of city lot, I think this is a really good choice. And I checked the weight, this weighs exactly 55 pounds, which is pretty light for, for a lawnmower. And again, it does come with one battery and one, one charger. Um, now I will warn you, and this is one of the complaints about this, the batteries are expensive. So mm. if you wanted to buy an extra battery, they cost about $80 each. And these batteries, lithium ion batteries do not last forever. Wow. Um, if you ever have to throw one of these away, either for your drill or your uh, edger or your blower, wherever you're using one of these big lithium ion batteries, take them to Home Depot. They do recycle these because these are, you don't want to throw these away. These are horrible on the environment. So you can recycle these, but again, 80 bucks to get a replacement battery or an extra battery. Uh, it does come with, obviously, for those of us that bag our grass, it does come with a uh, grass bagging attachment, so that comes with it. Uh, this came with it. Again, I really didn't have to assemble anything. I just unfolded it, so, you know, you don't. it doesn't require any tools to put together or, or use. Uh, once you buy it from the store, you basically let it charge for about an hour, and it's ready to go. All right, guys, so just to show you how lightweight and easy this is to use, I'm gonna pick this up, walk it out to our yard and cut some grass, I'll uh, start it. You'll see how quiet it is too, that's the other thing. These are really quiet. So if for some reason you live somewhere where people are really noise sensitive, it's almost like the, the best analogy I can give you is like an electric car, if you've ever driven like a Tesla, it makes almost no noise. Same thing here. It almost feels like you're not pushing a lawnmower because it's so quiet. So let me take it out to the yard, I'll cut a few lines of grass and you'll see how easy to use and how quiet it is. By the way guys, don't judge us on our backyard <laughs> grass. We don't really fertilize and, and do all that stuff back here um, because it's so shaded. So we just kind of let it grow naturally. Our front yard is the bomb though. Our front yard looks like AstroTurf. So <laughs> don't judge us on this backyard. Okay guys, so to start it, another thing that's nice too, this does not have the pull string. I know for a lot of folks, just trying to pull the lawnmower to get it started is the toughest part. With this, all you have to do is hold down this button for a few seconds and then just pull this handle. So I don't know how well this comes out in the video, but if you can hear me, right, you can hear me over the lawnmower, it's really quiet. By lawnmower standards, this is a really quiet lawnmower. Guys, well, you, as you can see, I've got the two lawnmowers side by side. You can kind of do a size comparison. We're going to retire this guy. Um, I've used gas lawnmowers for 30 years. They serve me well, but it's time to move into the future. So if I had a chance to do it over again, I'd probably start with an electric. It's a lot less maintenance. Just pop in the battery. It's ready to go. Um, so I'm going to give this a whirl. We're going to step into the future here, guys. High tech stuff and work with the uh, electric lawnmower and see how it works for me. And I'll keep you guys updated. If anything goes wrong, I will definitely